Hi guys, this is Loli the Uphill Dublin. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today, I am going to do, sorry, I'm recording on my phone and lo and behold, I have a low battery. <laughs> but anyway, um, I am going to do a twist out today. And right now, I'm just sectioning my hair. It is going to be in six sections. And I start in the back. I'm going to start in, I start in the front because I look in, you know, I watch myself in the mirror while I do the front. In the back, I go sit down and I watch TV as I complete the back. So, but what I have done so far, I shampooed with Paul Mitchell Lavender Mint. Uh, shampoo and I uh, steamed my hair under steamer with Paul Mitchell lavender mint deep conditioner my hair feels extremely soft it's like a little puff of clouds now but um um I sprayed some effigy uh, leave-in that's strengthening so I sprayed that all over but what I'm going to use today for the first time, I've never used them. I'm using Camille Rose Coconut Water Leave-In Detangling Treatment as my leave-in, cream leave-in, because the Apogee Liquid Leave-In is also leave-in. But also Camille Rose Coconut Water Style Setter, I've never used this. I've never used either one of these. I've purchased these from the World Natural Hair Show. Um, and I'm just going to do a little on camera and I'll come back and let you guys see the twist and then the twist out. I might be doing the twist out tomorrow. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But I tend to be heavy handed, but I'm going to use that much. That don't look like it's too much to me. I'm going to put it. Focus on those ends. And yes, I have Natural 85's Melanin Oil. So I'm going to use some of that and rub that on there as well. This oil smells nice. And it also um, doesn't leave your hair really greasy. I think it you know, does a really good job of penetrating your hair strands. Then I'm going to take my detangling comb. Hmm, they actually define my curls. Hmm. And then I'm just going to twist and clip that away. So I'm going to do that for my whole head. I tend to like to do my hair, my twist on soaking wet. Um, I'll let you guys know if once I actually start putting them in, if I go back in. I know I will dampen it, but, well, not soaking wet, but my hair is, is fairly wet. Like, not as wet as I would do for the um, wash and go, but I do still like it fairly wet because my definition is more pronounced. So... Get that all over, and we are going to detangle. Okay, so I'm gonna do this all over, and I'll be back once I start applying the uh, styling cream and twisting. Thanks, guys. Okay, hi, guys. I'm back. I have... Okay, hi, guys. I'm back. I have completed the front sections on the side. Um, my edges are a work in progress. They've been a work in progress for some years now. <laughs> but they look better than what they used to. Um, I had some braids in, and I shampooed my hair with the braids in, and right in my temple area, the whole braid came out. 
and so my hair was I had no hair right in these areas so the uh, main choice hair vitamins actually brought my edges back um, but they broke my face out really bad so once I was done because I purchased maybe like four bottles so when I was done with them I stopped taking them um, but so it did bring my edges back though guys and so now I just you know I if I can flat twist it in and that's why I flat twist in this area to try to incorporate my edges right in here so anyway so I just want to see um these are a few flat twists too kind of depends on how much hair is in for the twist um and if it's kind of long or bot you know squared off I'll just make it a flat twist at the root um, that's it. Other than that, you know, no special, special reason why, but that's why. So I'm going to do this section. This leave-in is hella soft. I mean, you know, my hair is already soft because I steamed it, but this leave-in, I mean, it, it says maximum hydration. Camille ain't never lied. It is really, it's a nice leave-in. And then watch, my, my curls are going to get so defined. And there's nothing but the leave-in, you know, and topped off with the, um, with, um, melanin oil. So, yep, and then like I said, I do, I like my hair to be moist as I am doing my twist, so. I did re -wit. But look how I define my curls. I was like, oh, come through, Camille, come through. Okay, so I am going to part off just straight across. Clip that away. Take about that much. And we'll saturate those ends. And then I'm working my way up to my scalp area. And I'm kind of smushing. I'm just gonna like my um, wash and go. I, I smush the products through and kind of make sure that it lands on every strand. Okay. And then I'm gonna put a twist right here. And just a twist, no flat twist on this one. Like I said, I just do it kind of based on the shape of the area that I'm twisting. Yeah, but let's see. So what I do today, so guys, you know, I recently finished cosmetology school. I'm in limbo waiting to actually go and take my test. Um, that hasn't been scheduled yet. I'm waiting for... PSI, that's the authorizing agency once you're done with school, to get me in the system, and then I'll be able to register for testing. So, uh, what I did last week, last Monday, and what I did this Monday, I went, I took a, a hair class. Last week was on the KMS system, it's a hair straightening system for uh, natural hair and it's just a system that will help um, the naturals that primarily wear their hair straight it'll help them it'll help that relaxer not relaxer Jesus it'll help their hair stay straighter longer and it does loosen the curl pattern um, which is a good thing for naturals that you know Primarily wear their hair straight. That's a good thing, but it's not for naturals such as myself that only wear their hair straight once or twice a year. Naturals like us, no, nope. just you know, use a humidity blocking serum, heat protectant, and flat iron, honey. But yes, yeah, so I that that was last week's class. This week class was pix a pixie cut class. Um, it was 
has been real informative. I actually filmed it, which is taking up storage on my phone, of course. Um, I gotta figure out, I gotta transfer it somewhere, I guess. Cause that I really do want to keep. Okay, so these two I did flat twist. So you see how it's shaped? That's why I was saying like, depending on the shape of it, sometimes I flat twist the root and sometimes I won't. But yeah, if it's shaped like that, then I go ahead and I flat twist. So I'm going to take another section. This is probably one section, another section. So this is gonna be four rows. Clip that away. Ow. But yes, yeah, so it was a pixie cut class. Uh, the young lady name was Monica. She's on Instagram as hairbiz1. And so, I really didn't like the cut she did today, the style. But the cut, of course, is on point. But I didn't really like the hairstyle. But when I looked at her Instagram page, I saw several styles that I did like. It was just, like I said, this particular style I didn't care for. But... You may be wondering, like, why do you take a pixie cut class if you're going to be a natural hairstylist? Well, guys, because natural hair women also wear tapered cuts, right? So when you get down to it, a cut is a cut is a cut is a cut. The only difference is with natural hair, we do have to be mindful of the shrinkage when cutting our hair. But other than, other than that, you know angles how to cut it over direction um zero degree you know molding the hair all that type of stuff it kind of correlates and then who knows don't limit your education you know so that class is informative of course they wanted you to buy the shears which were, they were shears, texturizing shears, only one, they were like $80. I didn't get those, not yet. When I'm in the salon and I'm making some money and it calls for it, okay, but not right now. I have some shears, I have some texturizing shears, and that's what I'll use for now. Should I need? But I'm liking this Camille Rose stuff. Have you guys used this? I know it's not new, it's been around a minute. But I've never used it. So, no, I'm gonna make this one. I'm just going to um, wet this a little bit too. I'm just gonna flat twist it. But we're gonna make that one. as you see that was I don't know I just twist or flat twist as I feel it's needed okay but thanks guys for watching I'll be back uh, probably when I'm completely done and then whenever I do the twist out I'll be back um, the video from a couple of days ago when I did the two strand twist on with the Weed Air products, no, I didn't like it. So I didn't even, I mean, I think I probably restyled my hair the same day I took the twist out because I don't like how my hair felt. My hair felt dried out. So I didn't like it. I like the, the definition was there, but I don't like my hair to feel dry. So, no. I 
think I used the, their setting style cream. Uh, I haven't been too impressed with anything of theirs besides the clarifying shampoo and the high definition defining gel, I think that's the name of it. Those are gonna be staples, but not the rest of it. I haven't been impressed. Okay, so that's the front. Like I said, I go sit and watch TV as I complete the back. So, thanks guys for watching. I'll be back. Bye. Hi guys, I am back. It is two days later from me put, putting the twist in. And this is what they're looking like. So let's take a look. First, we got my oil. I'm gonna put it on the tips. And start in the back. And we're gonna take them down and see what they look like. And I like to separate as I go. That way I don't miss a twist. I can kind of tell already that they are going to be a little on the frizzy side you know I don't like that I like definition they're very nice and soft y'all know I like definition so look <laughs> too twisting and I'm like eh, no nope. <laughs> but um uh, probably a little gel on top would give me that more defined look because you guys you know you have to keep in mind that the more defined your twists are, the longer that it'll last for you. Because I typically don't retwist my hair at night. I just put my bonnet on. Um, I don't really want to retwist at night. So, you know, that's why I, you know, I go for more definition so I can have uh, the longevity of my styles. Okay, but so as I take these out, Gonna give you guys an update on what's going on with me as far as uh, my cosmetology career. I am now registered to take my exam. <laughs> oh my God. So I looked last night at the website, it's psiexams.com. And when I first looked, I didn't see any information, you know, but it kind of gives you some prompts of what to do. If, you know, if you don't see, if you don't, if you don't see any activity I think it says find my profile or something like that so anyway when I clicked on that I put on my personal information and then there I was and I was so excited I was just oh no I was just so excited to you know it's just one more step closer and everything is looking so just official and legit because you guys would be amazed I um went to a school here that was very reasonable and very affordable. If you guys know, cosmetology school can run you at least $16,000 and up, right? So, um, I didn't have that out of pocket. Um, I already have my degree. I have my degree in uh, criminal justice, so I don't qualify for any additional financial aid, you know, other than if I went to get my master's or my PhD, um, something like that. But so, you know, I don't qualify for any other type of financial aid under the bachelor's. Um, so everything would have to be out of pocket for me. Um, so anyway, I found this school in, in I live in Atlanta, Georgia, and it was very reasonable. When I first looked, it was a, it was a new school. The uh, woman who owns it, Miss Thompson, um, she was she had just opened the school, so of course, you know, she was just trying to get enrollment and um the tuition was $9.99 and of course you know that it did not include your books it didn't did not include your supplies it was just tuition and um I was still working at the time and I was like you know okay I went to visit the school she showed me all around the school she talked to me about how I could work and go to school because like I said I was working at the time but I worked and went to school to get my bachelor's and so I didn't want to do that this this time around you know I just wanted to 
focus on school. I wanted to get in and get out. You know, I didn't want to go part time because then that would make, you know, a nine month program, eighteen to twenty four months, and you know, I just wanted to get it over with. So, um, in between that first time of going, I started to get my finances together. You know, so we could live off one income. Cause, well. Well, so, yeah, so we could live off one income because, you know, I, I am married, but, you know, I'm, I'm married and I have three children and, um, and a cat. <laughs> and he eat a lot. <laughs> but, um, so, you know, I was working on getting finances in order. We had some stuff that we wanted to buy. Like, you know, we needed a new washing dryer and, you know, just... I was uh, paying off my car and, you know, just getting finances in order to live comfortably with that one income. So, um, then, I, you know, I stopped by the school again. And at this time, well, I think it, the program was still $9.99. But, you know, I stopped by one more time. And at this time, more people were, because when I went the first time, no one was there. I don't know if anyone was enrolled and, you know. Just, they just wasn't there because I can't I forget what day of the week I went but when I went the first time there was no one there but the owner when I went back the second time it was people there it was uh, clients there and there were other students and there were instructors and you know again she greeted me warmly and you know talked to me about the program again and then so again you know I walked away you know, ready to go, but, you know, just still getting my life together. Um, so, I went back a third time. And, it, like, in between this time, guys, you to, uh, at least two and a half, maybe even three years have gone by with me thinking about going, trying to get my life together to go. You know, and also trying to make sure I was making the right decision because I was giving up a federal government job with benefits. I, was, I had a fairly decent salary. And, you know, so just... Just trying to, you know, make sure I was doing the right thing. So, I go by a third time. And when I walked in the door, she, you know, it was full again. Full of clients. Full of people. You know, the hustle and bustle. And so, I walked in. You know, big smile on my face. Like, hey. Honey, she looked up at me and she said, if you don't stop breaking your tail in here. <laughs> and I just bust out laughing. I was like, okay. You know, I'm like, I'm, I'm here. I'm ready to enroll this time. I'm so serious because it just so happened that I really, I wasn't just coming to visit at this time. I was coming to pay my money and go ahead. And so when I went back that final time, the tuition had gone up to $1,500. So still extremely reasonable, right? But still, I could have paid $9.99. Now I got to pay 15 freaking hundred. <clears throat> and so, you know, I went ahead and paid and started. But I say that because um, there's a, before I finished the program, there was a young lady that had, she had just enrolled. And she, and um, the weekend went by and she came back and she said, Lolita, can I talk to you for a minute? And I'm like, sure. So I talked, you know, we go to the side and we're talking and she was like, I was at this cookout, and I met this lady. She was like, she didn't know the lady, you know, but she was just talking to the lady and, she, you know, told the lady that she was in cosmetology school. And she said the lady was like, oh, her daughter's in cosmetology school, too. And her daughter, um, and, you know, so she was like, oh, okay. So she told the lady what school she go to. And the lady was like, oh, okay, how much is the tuition? So she told her how much. Currently, the tuition is $3,500, guys. As you see, it's going up, right? It's just, you know. The more established she get, the more students she get, it's going up. So at this right now, tuition is thirty five hundred. Um, but anyway, she said the lady told her, "Oh, you know, is it accredited? You might wanna, you, you know, you wanna make sure that it's accredited or whatever." So it really, just scared her. Had her feeling like, "Is this school legit? Like, what's really going on?" So I told her, "My girl, yes, the school is legit." Um, and in the bet between me going there um i knew personally four to six people that had gone to state board and you know taking their uh tests and their practical or whatever so yes the school is legit so you know that she was like oh okay you know they calmed her down or whatever so 
Um, fast forward to me. So this past Monday, I was at a haircutting class, and I was talking to a young, um, another young lady, and she asked me, like, you know, what's making me get in the get in the career now because you know I'm not 21. <laughs> And, you know, I, I just told her my, you know, what I've already shared with, with you guys. And so, and she asked me, um, you know, well, how much is the school? And I told her, and she said the same thing that lady said to her. Ooh, are you, is it accredited? And I said, yes, ma'am, it is accredited. I'm like, right now, I'm currently waiting to hear from PSI so I can register for my exam. But, yes, it is accredited. I know others that went to the program. They've already gone down the state board, taking their test or whatever. And she, you know, she looking kind of like she don't believe it. But I say that, guys, to, like, don't let the price of something be a deterrent or encouragement for you, something like that. Because the price of this woman's program have nothing to do with her being a legitimate school or not. She is a legitimate school. It is privately owned, so of course she does not have Paul Mitchell or Aveda name behind her. And so, um, you know, just to get her school up and running and on the map, she has reasonable prices, which helps us. It definitely helps us that cannot afford to get student loans and, you know, a financial aid. And she, um, before she gets financial aid approved, she has to be in business, I think, five years or something like that. So y'all can only imagine when she when she is financial aid approved and she not gonna be thirty five hundred or no fifty you know, fifteen hundred any more than like I took my time and I still miss twist. But you know what I mean? So it's just I just I just kinda found it funny that you know they're like, Ooh, is that accredited? Yes, ma'am. It's accredited and your girl Lolita is about to go down. And take her test because as of today, um, you know, I was I was in the system and so I went ahead and paid for my testing and went ahead and scheduled my testing. So I will be testing within the next month for both parts, the written and the practical. I'm taking the written first and then a little bit over two weeks later, I will be going down to take my practical okay so wish you wish me some luck please um so I, I purchased a study guide so every day i will be spending hours studying it, it says do like 45 minutes 45 minutes to an hour and i'll probably do 45 minutes to an hour at a time but throughout the day at least three four times a day i'll be back you know hitting that study guide so i'm um I'm really not nervous of me not passing, but I always push myself and I always try to do the very best I can. So me, I would love to make a hundred on the exam. Um, reasonably, do I think I'm gonna make a hundred? No. <laughs> but if I'm aiming for a hundred, I should land in the 90s, right? So that's what I'm trying to do. So I'm studying and studying and studying. So hopefully I can get my 90 plus score when I go down. Okay, so this is the twist out, guys. What you think? Like I said, it's a frizzy. It's pretty, but it's just, it's not gonna last. I know it's not gonna last. I'm not even gonna say, oh, I'm gonna, you know, I'll show y'all some pictures. I know it's not gonna last. It'll be up in a puff tomorrow. Um, I might record myself putting it into a puff. Because I got some hair paint wax that I'll probably color my puff. But, yeah. Because it's not going to last. It's nice and soft. We have some definition. Not a lot of definition. Yeah. And quite honestly, I probably won't use it again. Because I like definition. I don't typically style my hair to put it in a puff. Because you know how you can... I, I could say, oh, I twisted and, you know, because I know it's going to make a beautiful puff, but I don't style my hair day one thinking I'm a, you know, for the puff. That's, I, I don't do that. I style my hair for longevity. And then by day four or five, if I want to put it in a puff, I don't mind putting it in a puff. Um, typically I go ahead and restyle, but you know, I can't put it in a puff if that's what I wanted to do. But Anyway, 
This is the Camille Rose. I actually have it right here. The style setter. There we go. I think they came through. That's the uh, Camille Rose style setter and the matching leave-in conditioner along with it. So I gotta make a run. So that's why I'm taking it out. So what you guys think? Do you guys go for definition or do you go for volume? I go for definition because I feel like my hair is so full, I'm going to get volume anyway. So, I go for definition. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Also, send your girl some well wishes, some good looks, some thumbs. Um, coming up with this state board examination. And I'm excited to get my, um, my career started. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.